So good morning. So um, tell me about your story. Now you came to the office about uh, about a month or two months ago, and yes. you've had cancer pain yes. initially from acute lymphocytic leukemia when you were sixteen. Mm-hmm. And since that time, you had some hip issues, and then they placed you on opiates. Yes. So what's going on? So I've wanted I've been wanting to get off the opiates for several years, and have been told by many different doctors that there's no other option that until I get my hip replaced, that this is the only option. And because I'm too young to get my hip replaced, that we are gonna keep doing this for a while. And uh, I was referred to Dr. Dombrowski and was pretty skeptical that my pain could get under control without any oxycodone or my fentanyl patches. And um, it took like a week to come off of pretty much everything. And now my pain's under control. And how do you feel, I mean, you know, compared to when you're on the opiates to now you're on no opiates? I have so much more energy. I have so much more energy. My fiance says I'm like a different person. Uh, before I was coming home from work and falling asleep immediately, I was having trouble staying awake at work. So I was given Ritalin to combat the fatigue. Um, and now I can go through an entire work day, feel great, come home after work. We can go out and do different things. And it's, it's like, uh, you know, before I ever was sick. Now, now you said now if people were skeptical, were you kind of afraid to come off the narcotics? I was definitely afraid to come off. Um, if I ever ran out and had to wait a day to pick up a prescription or something like that, I immediately started going through withdrawal. And I was skeptical because so many people had told me there was nothing else that there were no other options for eight years. So I didn't think that I could really get my pain under control without at least oxycodone. So if you were, if people watch this YouTube video, how would you tell them to, what encouragement would you tell them? To definitely keep asking, to, to find someone who doesn't just prescribe narcotics, to find someone who's willing to try other things and, and do different things. Great, thank you.